Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to model fractions divided by fractions. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Again, this is fractions divided by fractions. So let's jump right into number one. We have three fourths divided by a half. So essentially what we're doing, we're pulling groups of a half out of three fourths and seeing how many groups we can make. So our squares below the problem are going to represent three fourths divided by one half. So the first square is going to be 3 fourths and the second square is going to be a half. Now both of these squares are going to be very similar as to how we divide or split them up into pieces. But the pieces that we're going to fill in for each of those fractions is going to be different. You'll see what I mean here in a second. So for both squares, 3 fourths is going to go vertically or up and down and a half is going to go horizontally or side to side. So let's represent 3 fourths by splitting into fourths and filling in three pieces. And we're going to split in half going horizontal the opposite way. So split in half here. All right, so let's circle the pieces that represent 3 fourths. Because again, that first square is a representation of 3 fourths. Now we divide by a half, and that second square is going to be almost the exact same thing. Let's split it into fourths, just like we did the first. But we're not going to fill in 3 fourths. We're going to fill in 1 half. So let's split in half going horizontally. And we need to fill in one of those halves going side to side or horizontal. So this represents a half. Now let's circle the pieces that represent a half there and count how many pieces there are in half of this model. We have one here, two, three, and four. So we need to see how many whole groups of four or how many whole halves we can pull out of the first square representing this division problem. So I'm going to draw around here. We have one, two, three, and four. I'll kind of color them in. One, two, three, and four. So one whole group of four, that represents one whole group of a half. That's going to be the whole number part of our answer because we can't make any more whole groups of four. We have two pieces left here, two pieces left, which is going to be the numerator portion of our answer. And we have two out of the four pieces needed to make another whole. Two out of the four pieces needed to make another whole. Because remember, we need four pieces to represent a whole half. So one and two fourths is our final answer but we can simplify to get to uh, the simplest form of our answer. So a common factor between two and four is two, and we get to one and a half as our final answer in simplest form. So let's move on to number two, where we have two thirds divided by three fifths. So the first square is going to be two thirds, and the second square is going to be three fifths. And this is a division problem. So two-thirds will be going vertically or up and down, and three-fifths is going to be, squeeze it in here, is going to be horizontal. So let's represent two-thirds first. And we need to fill in two out of three to represent two-thirds. And let's split into fifths going horizontally. This denominator here tells us fifths. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we want this to represent two thirds, so I'm circling the pieces that represent two thirds. All right, second square here, we need to represent three fifths. There's our thirds, but we don't wanna fill in anything there. We did that for the first square. So let's cut into fifths here. All right, and we need to fill in three to represent three fifths. 
All right, circle our three fifths and let's see how many pieces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine pieces uh, to make a whole group of three fifths. So let's see how many whole groups of three fifths we can pull out of our first square, which represents two thirds. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one whole group of uh, three fifths there. So one whole group. And we have one piece left over here. One piece. And we need nine pieces to make a whole. So one out of nine needed to make another whole. And one ninth is in simplest form, so we are done. The answer to number two is one and one ninth. So there you have it. There's how you model fractions divided by fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.